By any measure, Stephen Hawking's life was incredible, even more so because in the 1960s, he was diagnosed with ALS or motor neurone disease and given just a few years to live. This rare form of motor neuron disease left him virtually paralyzed, unable to express his profound vision of humanity and science without a voice synthesizer. At one point, I thought I would see the end of physics as we know it, but now I think the wonder of discovery will continue long after I am gone. But this was never a man bound by his own physical limitations. He reveled in a zero gravity flight freeing him, he said, from the confines of his wheelchair. He also wrote a series of children's books about space with his daughter Lucy. He had two other children and three grandchildren. For more than three decades, he was a professor at Cambridge University's Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics, specialising in the study of black holes and revered as a member of the academic elite. But Professor Hawking also did much to popularise science, playing himself in Star Trek Resist in the opposite direction <laughs> and The Simpsons In 2014, his life and romance with wife Jane Wilde was depicted on the big screen in the acclaimed film The Theory of Everything so The universe getting smaller and smaller getting denser and denser, hotter and hotter You as mean we wind back the clock? Exactly, wind back the clock Hawking consulted on the biodrama, which earned five Academy Award nominations and a Best Actor win for Eddie Redmayne in his portrayal of the physicist. Hawking's most famous work, A Brief History of Time, remains one of the best-selling science books ever written, and he was deeply concerned with humanity's survival. I see great danger for the human race. There have been a number of times in the past when its survival has been a question of touch and go. The frequency of such occasions is likely to increase in the future. We shall need great care and judgment to negotiate them all successfully. But I'm an optimist. If we can avoid disaster for the next two centuries, our species should be safe as we spread into space. He was, as ever, looking firmly to the future.